Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Pentecost meditation for day six. We are busy under the theme, Grieve not the Holy Spirit, according to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to 30, as prepared by our bishops of the Moravian Church in South Africa. Let us listen to the daily watchword for Tuesday, the 23rd of May. The text for the day. You must therefore be careful to do as the Lord your God has commanded you. You shall not turn to the right or to the left. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 32. The doctrinal text. Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the greatest and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 to 39. And our hymn, Help me, dear Lord, to love thee more with heart and soul and mind, that so I may fulfill thy will by loving all my mankind. From the London Hymnal, hymn 684, verse 1. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we have to plead guilty as we read your words for today. You have created us wonderfully, and so often we think we are in to total control to do what we want. Amen. Let us sing together hymn 637 verse 1. Hymn 637 verse 1. We continue our reading for day six with the theme, Grieve not the Holy Spirit, according to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17 to 32. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to, to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers, and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and even and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice, and be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you, according to Ephesians chapter four, verse twenty nine to thirty two. This prohibition give not the Holy grieve not the Holy Spirit, lays bare the truth that the Holy Spirit is a person, specifically the third person of the Trinity, and therefore can be heard like any other person. The call by the Apostle Paul, do not grieve the Holy Spirit, is directly linked to the main danger in not putting on the new man. Ephesians 4 verse 24. The new man is to serve as our insulation for us, not to sin against and stray from God, which in turn leads to us to grieve the Holy Spirit of God. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 30. Generally speaking, the role of the Holy Spirit is to comfort and to guide believers in Christ likeness. If the Holy Spirit is poured on us with the intention to comfort us when we experience pain, grief and agony in our daily lives. In view of the fact that our lives are characterized by so much pain of different kinds and different levels, it is therefore in our best interest that we do not upset and grieve the Holy Spirit. Failure to do that will only leave us vulnerable to pain and anguish without the insulation that the Holy Spirit provides to us against these ills. It then becomes important that we unpack what it means exactly and in practical terms to grieve the Holy Spirit. 
so we can take extra care not to grieve her to our detriment. According to Paul, the Holy Spirit is hurt when we hurt each other by condemning, judging, or gossiping about each other. This assertion can only help us with achieving sound and peaceful interpersonal relations among us as human beings in general, and especially in the church. We all know that often interpersonal relations between us are ruined beyond repair sometimes by our careless, reckless, and inconsiderate talk against each other. We therefore have an obligation to ward off all that threatens to damage the valuable relations and fellowship among us in terms of how we relate to one another. After all, as human beings, we are also social beings and we need to build and protect the valuable relations among us. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your divine call to us to be kind to each other as brothers and sisters in your church and in society at large. Lord, help us exercise the necessary restraint in hurting others with slanderous talk behind their backs. Come now, Holy Spirit, and take control over all our lives so that there can be genuine unity and harmony amongst us. Amen. Let us conclude our Pentecostal meditation for day six by singing together that chorus, Eagle Wings.
let us receive the benediction of the Lord. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit be with us for now and forever. Amen. Have a blessed day. Stay safe and be blessed. And remember, through our words and deeds, let us not grieve the Holy Spirit.